So, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I'm running down the hall, totally late for class. Well, of course, my shoe comes off, but that's the problem with Velcro, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm just about to my classroom, but here comes Mr. Farrar with the tardy sweep. So I reach into my pocket for my hall pass, but all I find is a giant hole. I loved it, especially the part with Nikki and Rook in the aircraft carrier. Awesome. Stop it, you're embarrassing me. I do have one note, though. This new character, the uh, robbery detective? Schlemmy? What about him? Well, he seems like he kind of came up out of nowhere. Yeah, well, I can't argue with that. He's coming off a bit like a doofus. You think? You both ate and didn't even think about me? Look, Brick, we just came off of a big push getting Sue into college, and we just need a break. It's like how when we drive Dad's car all the way to Grandma's and we have to let it sit for a while or it won't turn on again. We're like that right now. We're just like parental beater cars. Yeah, just give us a couple months to recharge. Uh, well, confession time. He kind of didn't want to come. <laughs> well, you're going to laugh because my dad was kind of hoping he wouldn't. What? <laughs> uh, so they just needed to get to know one another better. I am so glad that we did this. Yeah, me too. <sighs> oh, that's so funny. Well, what did your dad not like about my dad? Oh, well, you know Jay. He's a teddy bear, but sometimes he can kind of come off as a tough guy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. As an actual tough guy, you can kind of see how that would rub my dad the wrong way. Oh, that's, I, I could see that, but, you know, my dad's actually pretty tough himself, so... Dad, we can feel good about solving the case. Uh, don't you? Eh, me. Dude, I broke up a highly intricate race-fixing syndicate while wearing a shirt designed by a monkey coming off a three-day sugar bench. Yes, yes, you did, Sean. But you still haven't figured out who the second spitter was in Miss Lefty's class. But this is a disaster. Can't I please just go? No, no, I'm talking you up to people. Just give it a little time, all right? Relax. Get something to eat, OK? So, uh, what did you tell them about me? Um, oh, I was telling them about you and Emily, you know, trying to get some sympathy. Mm. But somehow you came off as the bad guy. <laughs> what? Yeah, I think I told it wrong. <laughs> you know, we should talk about that, because I don't totally understand what happened there. Mmm, <laughs> this cake is really good. Oh, so Andy's doing well. Yeah, he's a little shaky still, but that's to be expected. Well, not really. He had his cast removed two weeks ago. The muscles wouldn't atrophy so much. I'm sorry, two weeks ago? It's when they were scheduled to come off. But he told me that you told him he should wait. I can't even believe this. I really come off that badly? Oh, it's OK. You calm down after a while, and then people can see how really sweet and wonderful you really are. Oh, good, good, because I'm sure this interview is going to last a couple of weeks. <laughs> Freak out, okay? I, I will help you. How long before you have to leave? An hour. I can't help you. Dina. All right, all right, we'll just do our best, okay? So let's say that I'm the interviewer and I'm meeting you for the first time. How'd this thing come off anyway? Oh, well, I was cooking dinner and... Right, and <clears throat> the raccoon would just walked in the... And I already had the door open. Right, which I had, I had already had a hold of the... Why handle. don't you two go work on your story and come back? Okay. okay. Yes, hello. I have a question. Um, I used your pen to draw on my friend's face. <laughs> a beard and a mustache. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, she didn't think so. I know. It's like, anyway, um, well, makeup didn't cover it, and we've tried everything to get it off, and nothing's worked. I mean, wh wh what do we do? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's not coming off. 